SNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And uh, currently have most of the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The one that is not is the Dow. It's off 35 points. The S&P is up 6. NASDAQ 100 up 61. Russell's up 19. Semi's up 10. Trandy's up 87. Gold's trading down 23 bucks at 1842. Silver's off 23 cents. She's trading at 2182. Light speed crude is up a buck. 113.23 is the print there. Natural gas up 32 cents. Nine dollars and 12 cents in a 30-year treasury. Basically flat. It's down eight ticks. She's trading out at 141.21. What does all that mean? Well, what it means is this. If we take a look at the ES Mini, she is dealing with trend line resistance as well as the center of its daily profile. The center of the profile is where we have both buyers and sellers located. That's at 38.49. And you can see that nice little descending trend. So if price can take out that descending trend line, it should be off to the races. To the upside, those races ought to take us up to 41.68. Now, in order for that to come to fruition, you need to see that spot volatility get back to and below its 50-day exponential moving average, 2761. So that's the caveat with regard to any kind of a rally inside of the S&P 500. The NQ right now is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. I believe the NQ is likely to rally from here, but it needs to prove itself to us. We'll take a look at that during the Trader's Edge show. But price is still trading below the bottom of its daily profile. That is always a uh, potential problem. We'll see if it can close back above 14, I'm sorry, 11.875 by day's end. U.S. dollar index is trying to hold on to support, and that is its weekly profile. And that weekly profile level is 102.13. That will make a uh, difference on Friday, not really Wednesday. Uh, gold ran into resistance right into its resistance zone, which was established by its bear structure daily profile. That's between 1861 and 1872, and then you've got a descending trend line as well. In the case of silver, Resistance is the center of its weekly profile, and that's at 22.26. If price can clear that, it should make way its way to 22.76. Lights Week crude just trading sideways for the most part. Yeah, just trading sideways for the most part here, and it's got descending trend line resistance. Natural gas, nice move today, but today will become bar number nine of a TD9 count. That says natural gas should form some type of short-term top between today and tomorrow. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Wednesday, please have a wonderful one. And thanks so much for joining us. Take care. Now.